Obviously see it got smoked good in the back. Do a couple pulls on it and measure the frame. I'm up in the morning like five in the morning, I'm already on. So when you just getting out of the box, boy, I'm rounding the cone. This ain't a persona. I do this for real. All right, I got this quarter panel done on this Impala. That one's gonna go over to Eric to do the fill work on. And now I have a Chrysler 300 here. Rear body panel repair pushed in here. It has a, it actually already has a shape like that, but it's pushed in some right in this area. And right here, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this one out real fast. And then I got another big quarter job to do after this. So this rear body panel is pushed in from the trunk lid a little bit. It's not latching properly. So I have a quarter power in here. Whoop. This quarter power in here I'm using to put some pressure to roll this out. It's not gonna take it much. It needs about, I don't know, less than a quarter inch. See where I'm at here. We got this one just about wrapped up. Trunk lid fits good, seals good, latch is good. I'm waiting on a bumper cover still. I'm gonna make sure the bumper cover fits. But other than that, this one's just about done. I have a 2016, I believe it is, Toyota Corolla here. You can obviously see it got smoked good in the back. The quarter panel's wrapped over the door. And so this one, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clamp it and I'm gonna do a couple pulls on it and measure the frame. But this one's getting a new quarter panel, which I have right here. And then it also gets a new rear body panel, tail light pocket, floor extension. So I'm gonna get this one in clamps and go ahead and make some pulls and bring all that out. Looks like it's a 2014 Corolla. I'm trying to find it here in the measuring system to get the specs for it. So they have measurements in here of where they want you to put these clamps at. And you measure off of the center of the rear wheel here. I want this one at 785 millimeters, so right about there. And then this one they want at 2025 millimeters, right about there. So now I gotta go to five points in the center section of the car. And that's how I center the car to the measuring system. So the measuring so now I gotta go to five points in the center section of the car. And that's how I center the car to the measuring system. So the measuring system knows where the car is sitting. And then I can take my measurements on the back to see if that frame rail or anything's moved back there. 
my first point. There's five. Now let's see where we're at back here. So being that all of this is gonna get cut off and replaced anyway, I'm just gonna drill a hole here to make a pull with. Put a bolt with a plate in there. Goal is the reason I have to pull this is everything that's attached to what is getting cut off could have moved as well. So I want to make sure I pull it back roughly where it's supposed to be. So anything that's attached to these panels also moves back. And then I will start cutting it apart. If you don't do that, whenever you start fitting the new parts up, you end up having problems with fitting it from everything else being moved and out of, out of whack. So I got this one all pulled out. My door gap looks good now. I'm gonna go ahead and get it out of clamps and get it on the ground so I can start cutting it apart. <laughs> 